What's up? Oh my gosh, look who's here. <laughs> look who's here. I ain't got no vittles for you to try None. right now. Nothing. No, but one of the delicacies of Miss Lillian's that's not on the menu. You know what that is? It's on a free base ticket out here these days. It's chicken sugar. Chicken sugar. You look who needs chicken sugar. Your little redhead beauty over here. Look at him. For eight years he's been having adventures here with her. They travel around each town going buck buck. Oh, that sounds good. Let's go there. On the rabbit apple buck. They're on an eternal honeymoon. Your life your life's kind of like a honeymoon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Adventure. Thank you. <laughs> Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at Dollywood. And we're standing in front of Miss Lillian's Smokehouse. This is another standalone restaurant here at Dollywood. So we're gonna go in there and show you what they offer. Are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. We're gonna head up to Craftsman Valley and see Miss Lillian's. Just right up here, right at the entrance. And she's normally out here. And if you guys have never met her, you need to walk up to her and talk to her because she is so friendly. One of the best things that can happen to you when you come to Dollywood is spending a few minutes with her. There it is. I also have a little thing on the corner barbecue corner where you can pick up a few items let's just show you right now for the harvest festival they're having the three bean pumpkin chili some smoked sausage and macaroni and cheese but we're here for this today I'm gonna sit outside They have plenty of outside seating, and in here you can sit with all these different chairs. There's nothing on the inside, but plenty out here. This is another place that we talked about in the first one that you can just sit here and listen to the music being played over at the Valley Theater. Miss Lillian's Wishing Well. Don't forget this is here. If you need a wish, walk up to the smokehouse and throw some money in. Maybe your wishes will come true. Miss Lillian's Smokehouse Smoked Meats. Now this restaurant has a few items that are gluten-free, vegetarian, and vegan. A lot of their items, really. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much on almost all of them. Smoked out. Platters are served with cornbread and your choice of two sides, four choices. If you just want to come in here and get a side, there they are, $4.99. And some sweets and a fountain beverage or a water. We're just going to pick something from those four. Walk in the door. Some salads already made up. How you doing? Man, 
We'll get the uh, smoked rub chicken leg quarter and the four man's burnt ends. Okay, no problem. Chicken. There are the burnt ends. Swim back in there. There they are. It's a better shot up. There's the pulled pork. Baked beans on that side. Potato salad. There they are. And it comes with a drink. Did not know that. That's even a better deal. First customers of the day. So it's going to be hot. Poor man's burnt ends. If you don't know what the difference is in that, that's chuck roast instead of brisket, cornbread, corn on the cob, coleslaw. Bobby's is a smoked rub leg quarter. Some cornbread, potato salad, and baked beans. What you trying first? Uh, potato salad. I love it. Looks like it's got some uh, red onions in there. I like it because it's a mustard base. Like I said, you got some red onions in there. Potatoes are done well. They're not too mushy or too hard. There's some baked beans. Those are Bush's baked beans. Well, we always buy Bush's baked beans, so those yeah. should taste pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, they're our favorite. It has a maple, so it has a little sweet taste to it. You hear the train behind us. You can't beat that. Oh. Great atmosphere right here in this spot. Our bread comes with it. I like the cornbread. It's it's not as sweet as um, Granny's the other day, but I do like this. And there's the chicken. Smoked leg quarter. It's kind of crispy. What did you think of that first bite of the leg? I like the rub that they put on this, and that you can taste just a little bit of the smoke flavor. Now on the inside of the meat. It was a little bit, it was more tender, but the outside I think is a little too dry. A little like too dried dry. Up. Maybe you, they may have made it a bunch of the time and the feed's not moving right now because we're the first ones, but it's it, just a, you can see it's a little dry. It should be fresh. I mean, the first ones, it should yeah. have just came out. But fair, but, you're giving it about average. Yeah, but everything else I really like, but I'm gonna dip it in some barbecue sauce. Sweet baby rays. What do you want to show us? I want to just show you the inside meat because, like, you can tell the outside is, is dry, but you can see the meat. Yeah, the inside, inside doesn't look too bad. Uh -oh. But I did try a little bite of it. It is kind of too the crispy outside. on the outside. Yeah. But the rub it tastes decent and the smoke flavor of it. Must be your birthday today. My birthday. He just does that. <laughs> All right, guys, stay there till I get the other side open, please. No, he pulled that trick on me every time. I done had 112 birthdays this year. Let's start off with the poor man's burnt ends, chuck roast. They're cheaper than beef brisket. Almost have kind of the same flavor, but not in the price. Put some barbecue sauce on it already. It's not too bad. It reminds me of beef stew. Is that with barbecue sauce on it? It's tender. It's not burnt. And taste some smoke to it. 
We'll try one more piece. This one's a little crispier on the outside. That's not too bad. Beef brisket is better, but that's pretty good, especially for the amusement park being $14. They gave me a lot of it there. Mm -hmm. It's done well. Couldn't ask for chuck roast to be any better than that. Coleslaw. Cold slaws, nice and crunchy. A vinegar base to it. A few carrots and cabbage in there. This reminds me of Long John Silver's. Always used to get the corn at Long John Silver's. You guys all remember that? That was the best. I think it had a big stick out the end of it. Mm -hmm. It's frozen corn, guys. But I like frozen corn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't mess it up. <laughs> you, yeah, how you gonna mess this up? Unless it's cold. <laughs> yeah. So if you come here and you want the corn, the snow, it's gonna be a piece of frozen corn, mm -hmm. but it tastes yeah. good. I like it. Yep. I love the Long John Silver's corn. It was frozen. So you just put some butter on that. Yeah. Cornbread. Nice piece of that. I'm gonna agree with Bobby. Not as sweet as Granny Ogles. That's a nice flavor though, but this is a pretty good value. For one thing, you're getting a drink that costs you three dollars any place. So the meal being $13.99, you're paying ten bucks for that. I mean a hot dog costs more than that out there. Yeah. So I'm happy with them. Bobby's I just want, average. Yeah, I won't eat the skin on that or the outside. But, I will just eat the inside because it seemed to be all right. It's but just that's the, still not bad. I mean, no, you're getting. I like all the sides and the and maybe it's just Maybe it's just a bad batch, but it's not that bad. Then they have the smoked sausage and the pulled pork. Give it a try for that kind of money. Let's take a look at our receipt at Miss Lillian's here at Dollywood. Bobby's smoked chicken, $13.99. Burn ends, $12.99. Save $4.05 with the gold pass, $25.39. And the drink came with it. Doesn't say that on the menu. But they told us at the registers it did, so that even adds to the value. We just left Miss Lillian's Smokehouse. What did you think about it, Bobby? I like the, the sides that I got, the potato salad. The beans, you know, the beans, the beans, of course, out of a can, because that's our favorite brand. And uh, the cornbread was good. Now, the chicken I got, it was, it was small, and it was dried out on the outside. On the inside, it, it, it was a little bit better, but I was a little bit disappointed in yeah. that. Now, when we were leaving, John saw two other people with that same chicken, you said it looked a lot looked better. It looked 100% better, it was bigger, it looked fresher. Mm -hmm. I don't know if yours was leftover or what, but you just got a bad piece. Lucky to draw. <laughs> Mine was pretty good for chuck roast. I've never had chuck roast that way. We had it in uh, beef stew and hot roast. Had the barbecue sauce on it. I would get that again. I liked all my sides, the cornbread. The uh, drink came with it. Doesn't say that on the sign, but they told us it did. That's a really good deal. That means the meal was $10 if you take the drink off. You're not gonna find a better deal than that for $10 if it's good. Like, I would have been disappointed in Bobby Chicken. I tried it. It was a little dry on the outside. The inside was better, but it was a very small piece. They had smoked sausage, pulled pork. They'd probably be something to try. But yeah. I think it's worth trying. I do too. Like you said, if I would have got the chicken that the other people had, it would have been, been, yeah, yeah. been a completely different vlog on it. Now we wanted to get uh, dessert, but they didn't have any. But luckily, we have one more punch to get used. And John, what are we going to get? We're going to go get a cinnamon roll. You're going to come watch that as soon as we end this thing. So overall, I would come back I here. And even if you got the chicken again, give it one more shot. If it was the same, we'd probably never come back. But the burnt ends were worth coming. I did see someone get the smoked sausage also. It's a decent size. Great value, disappointed in the chicken, everything else was great.
Now, if you're lucky enough, maybe Miss Lillian will be outside the restaurant and she'll sing you a song. Yeah, this is where she hangs out. The place is named after her. And she is probably the friendliest person you're ever going to meet. We always enjoy talking to her. She remembers us. That's pretty cool. That and she cool. always sings us a song like you saw in the beginning of this vlog. Thanks, Miss Lillian. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J and B have left the building. Slice twenty dollars, whole pie two hundred and twenty four. Here are the pumpkin cinnamon rolls. And don't forget, we told you before, you don't have to wait in the back. Get your cinnamon bread on the way out for nine ninety nine. There's a whole bunch of cinnamon bread coming out fresh. And I can smell it. I want so I'm not gonna get it. Bonus coverage. Came here to the bakery because Miss Lillian's didn't have any of their desserts. So there was a supply shortage. They had none. So we're gonna get the pumpkin cinnamon roll. Our cinnamon bread's pretty daggone good. Never had the cinnamon roll here. Let's go in. Now we usually don't like to use the bakery with our pass. We usually buy a more expensive item, but we had one left and we're leaving the park, so we couldn't let it waste. Yeah, we ate at Miss Lillian, so we didn't have enough room to turn another item. Don't do that. We say that in every video. Don't use your pass on something that doesn't cost as much. We just did, so we just broke our own rule. But <laughs> we can't eat nothing else. We Rules well are meant to some, be broken, John. So what do you think about the cinnamon roll? It's pretty good. A lot of cinnamon in there. I'm gonna try one more bite to see if I get any pumpkin. I got a lot of that regular yeah. icing. Another angle of looking at it. Soft, fresh, they just made it this morning. But between the two, between this and the cinnamon bread, I'm going with the cinnamon bread. Right across from Aunt Granny's is the Mountain Laurel Home Quality Goods. They always have nice things in here. Let's just take a look. And you have this going around. Some pretty things. Bobby likes the autumn and fall stuff. Pumpkins. That's a pretty setting. Dolly says, it's hard to be a diamond in a rhinestone world. Yep, that is pretty.